What is going on everybody? The day has finally come and today is meat day. So basically this morning I woke up 161.2 pounds and I require to be 163.1 pounds to compete. I don't know about you, but that's some simple math. I think I made weight. But anyways, I started off my water cut at around 169 pounds and in under 24 hours, I am now 161 pounds. So I cannot wait to rehydrate and refuel up on carbs and everything. Dude, I am actually depleted right now, but you gotta do what you gotta do to make weight. See you guys in a bit. last final goodbye to the glorious home gym the thing that made all of this possible goodbye this will all have been worth it and here I have my gym bag I quickly go through what's inside of it so I have my SPD knee sleeves I have a bunch of clothing my singlet uh, elastic band to warm up my squat shoes a roller um, and I have my deadlift shoes on one side okay so this side is the baby powder and the chalk and then on this side is my deadlift shoes and then I have my SPD belt and then I have my bag of goodies I have a bunch of water I have a bunch more electrolytes upstairs some coconut water some Gatorade some monster stuff like that stuff to get me rehydrated as quickly as possible so, yeah. Sheesh! The homie here. I ate. Yo, come on in. Dude, fuck man. My weigh in. So basically, my weigh in is near the very end of the flight. So I have to wait like fucking another 30 minutes or so to weigh in. So I'm just gonna be dehydrated for like another 30 minutes. But dude, the energy here is crazy. So many people. Dude, this is gonna be lit. We're good. 72.97. Okay, so basically, we weighed in 72.9. Everything's looking great. First flight's about to go out for their attempts, and everything's looking fine. This body weight warm up right now. Everyone else is on their way. Everything's looking good. And then there's Kevin. Yes. <laughs>
completed my first ever powerlifting meet and I gotta be honest, it was one of the most enjoyable, thrilling experiences that I've ever had. Meeting so many new people, learning so many new things. It was honestly a really big blessing to be able to be in the sport of powerlifting. Now, I did not perform to the best that I wished I did, but I'll get into that in a bit. So to break things down and to keep this section kind of short, I usually walk around 169, 170 pounds on average, and I needed to weigh in at 161 or 163.1 pounds to compete as a 74 kg. And so in doing that, I had to cut down a couple pounds of water weight, which was no problem at all, honestly. It was it was hard, but it was like doable. It was only, I think, six or seven pound water cut, but I went a bit beyond and I cut down to 160 pounds, which now I know for the future not to do because uh, as soon as I finished weighing in, which everything was going well up to that point, but as soon as I started rehydrating, and started warming up for my first attempt for squats, that's when I realized uh, I didn't rehydrate properly. So what happened was I started cramping up like crazy. My quads just were not having it. And I usually have this problem a lot, even without water cut, just like in general, my quads and my body, I have really bad cramping issues. But this day on particular, because I had no water in my body, and I didn't rehydrate fully before I started warming up. That caused my quads to just uncontrollably cramp. And because of that, I had to lower my first attempt from, it was supposed to be 429 pounds. I had to lower that to 395 just to make sure that I didn't bomb out my first meet and not be able to compete. But after I completed that first attempt, I, I was I was honestly I was ready to call quits uh, I was cramping so hard and I couldn't I couldn't keep my legs straight like it was just every time I kept my legs straight it would just cramp up and I wouldn't be able to walk so if it wasn't for the help of everyone around me uh, teaching me how to control the cramping how to stretch it out drink more water and stuff and these small little techniques I would have probably bombed out I would have just stayed at 390. I think it was 395 squat, but because of their amazing help, I was able to continue going. I pushed through and what was meant to be my first attempt became my second attempt and also my last attempt. Uh, 429 pounds was my second attempt. And honestly, it felt okay on the way down, but after I hit parallel and I was ready to come back up, I just, I felt my quads cramping and it, what meant to be an RPE 7 lift became an RPE 10 lift and that just took everything out of me. But after that, I decided, you know what, it's it's all or nothing. So for my third attempt, I decided to load up, I think it was 440, 205 kilos or something, 200, 200 kilos, 440 pounds. And I just sank it. And as soon as I sank it, I felt my quads cramp up and I couldn't, I couldn't do anything about it. So that was unfortunate, but... Yeah, so for my squats, I hit 429 as my second attempt, which should have been my first attempt, but cramping. Uh, so the goal coming into this meet and during the entire prep was to hit a 450 squat, which would have broke the provincial record at 445 pounds. But because of the cramping, obviously, I wasn't able to do that. But after squats, I just drank a lot of water, rehydrated properly now let my body rest, let the flight, because I was flight three, flight C. So I let flight A, flight B go while I rehydrate and rest up my body. Going into bench, everything felt really good. Honestly, nothing was really wrong anymore. I wasn't cramping, everything was looking great. So for my first attempt, I decided to play it safe. I did 253 pounds for my opener and I put, hit that pretty easily. Nothing was wrong there, and then I decided, you know what, I'm just going to go for it. So I, I loaded up 281 pounds onto the bar, and uh, I don't know. Honestly, I think it was just, I was too in the zone. I like had too much hype, whatever. I sank the bar down 
instead of just touching it on my chest and letting it stop. So that caused me to have to pause like an extra four seconds. And I think it was like something crazy, like three or four seconds of pause. Cause um, in order for the judge to call lift, the bar has to be completely still, but I sank it into my chest. So there was like a two second or three second extra time frame where it, the bar was moving, which caused me to use up a lot more energy and once again, what was meant to be an RPE 7 or 8 lift became an RPE 10 lift. And after that, I was just really taxed. My chest was, it was done. So I decided to save my energy for the deadlifts and potentially do something crazy. So I just scratched my third attempt for bench. So my total for the bench was 281 pounds, which technically would have been or technically I tied the provincial record for like two minutes or something, but then this other guy was crazy, uh, took the provincial record right back, broke it like it was nothing, but yeah. Moving on to deadlifts, my first attempt was 451 pounds. I played it really conservative. Everything felt really light during the warm-ups, but I just wanted to make sure, lock in the lifts first, because this is my first meet. I don't want to bomb out on my first meet, so 451 flew up like crazy. It was really fast, so I got into my zone, just baby powdered up, and just sat there and waited. And for my second attempt, I loaded up 496 pounds, which is, yes, is a huge jump, but I was really confident that day, and everything just felt so good. I was just in my element and ripped it off the ground like it was nothing. So my second attempt, 496, was really easy. And then after that, I had a huge spike of confidence, from how fast the 495 went up. So I just decided, you know what, I'll just load up 507 on the bar, seven pound gym PR and meat PR, like all, just all time PR. Cause the last lift, the last heaviest lift that I've done on the deadlift was 500 pounds and that was on a deadlift bar. And I, I have hit it on a power bar, but I did use straps. So this would have been a huge PR anyways. And I loaded it up, I got super hyped for it got in my zone and thank you for everyone that hyped me up. Just the crowd is insane. The energy that the crowd provides in the powerlifting meet, all the audience, everyone in the backstage, it's just really electric. And that played a huge part in my success for the deadlifts. I went three on three for the deadlifts and 507 just, it went up. Like it was honestly really, really thrilling to just see and hear the crowd chanting your name like the energy is just crazy so basically that was the recap of the meet everything went pretty well besides the first attempt second attempt and third attempt of squats those were like i was cramping up really badly that was just completely 100 percent my fault i didn't rehydrate properly and i rushed the warm-up but now i know what not to do so the next meet that i go to westerns I'm gonna be prepared and I'm gonna bring in 110%. So very excited to start my prep for that, which actually I start prep in a week from now. So I have one more week of deload and then next week when I start, next Monday will be the first official day of the new block to train for Westerns, which I'm super excited about. But yeah, so this meet, I ended up placing second overall uh, in the 74 kg sub junior division because I'm 17 years old so I would be in the sub junior and I weigh 74 kg and honestly I'm just excited to see what I can do at westerns and push my body to the limits this time at westerns not gonna be cramping up anymore so I'm gonna bring my A game but until then this has been one of the most fun experiences I've ever had and I can't wait to do it again. Thank you for watching this video, and if you want to continue supporting me, I post on my Instagram basically every single day. The link will be in the description below, and these YouTube videos, I will try my best to crank out more. I just, I get really lazy sometimes, and I just forget, but thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to show some support, please press the subscribe button, comment down below, Comment something that you want to see in the future, maybe. I'll try my best to put out more videos. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.